Nii, põre peaivi puuhkaide, sa oma ainitiin. I, I think I go to share screen immediately. I have some, um, some things here for today to say. The first is attendance check. I, I posted it on Facebook already. I will send it in a mail. Um, uh, to you tonight and here is I tried to yeah I send it on the chat so if you want to answer one question there to show that you are here please do so uh, it says something about a textbook in the document yeah yeah I, I will I will stop I will I will share it again I have some funny news or I think it's at least a little bit maybe it's also for you because because we, uh, I got it. I got a, a mail from uh, Rita, Lisa, Valiarvi, and Lily Khan, and they want to write uh, uh, a book, uh, uh, a textbook, North Sami and introduction. There, there, it will be such a colloquial style. Uh, uh, book in a year from now on UCL Press, so so that's a, a nice uh, news I think that we will try. They have a contract, and and we will, uh, and the, I mean the 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 material I have given to you is is uh, to to uh, some extent correct, and uh, uh, lots of things are okay with it, but but there are also problems with it. Uh, there are maybe too many different words. I haven't had the time to like take it down and think about what words do they really want need need to learn and so on. So so I think that when we do this uh, textbook, we will take more time to think about the. Um, the material so so in a year from now you you will be able to find a book if everything goes as planned so that's a fun that's a nice will you advise us when the uh, book is ready uh, i can send you a mail yeah i will i will i will do that i will send you a mail uh, about it. it it will be on ucl press in in London, two of the writers are in London, and Torbjorn Söder is uh, in Uppsala University. Uh, and uh, today, I also see that we have Risten Lango here. Monoinan at the Risten Ladap. We have a, a mother tongue speaker, so that's uh, nice. We will today hear some uh, one of the dialogues to by by somebody who can trend, who can. Uh, pronounce the words correctly, so that will be nice for all of us. Pore päivi ristan. Ihmlatte, tätä toi mä koin mun vähän päätti vintanja vintanja tihtori. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. Don't let get uslus vai koston lähtä. Joo, mun on uslus. Just the fun. Mm. Mä sooma, kun tuon lähtä. Ja... Joo, kiitos. Ja. <laughs> Sama tuon. Ja. <laughs> e... Haas mun juogan sharma ja... Jos mä ei sahte alkit juoda aina uostas... E... Leksu... E... Leksu... Mm. It's time for lesson number seven, seventh lesson, Chichet Poddu. Uh, so, Risten, could you help us read here, for example, th this? Chichet Poddu. Yes, seventh lesson. And then the semantic field for today. Uberas. Uberas, yeah. Ton aina, tälle tarvaist uudistat. Mm, but, uh, okay. Uh, no, yeah, the use. Use 
just don't let Johan det är just don't let sihki Johan ja eller out na makada levchi ta manna boris jag vet inte så här botto ja ja valte bere god ut nya kan kommunaliki ja 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 loga loga i think we ask risten here to to read all this dialogue so we can hear Johan's words and Elrauna's with uh, uh, I can also say about Risten, she is from the, the place in Sapmi where the east meets the west. Isn't that true? That yeah. she, she is on the borderline between Kuautakeino municipality and uh, Karasjoka municipality. And, uh, and the Kuautakeino municipality is uh, considered to be western dialect and uh, Karasjoka is, is 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 eastern. So so I think you know if somebody has questions about uh, difference uh, differences between these how they are pronounced the words. Do you want to say anything on your own about this? That how how do you pronounce it? Do you feel that you have a lot of Kautokeino dialect, Kautokeino dialect, or do you have a lot of Karasjoka? I think I do a mix, uh, first of all, a mix, but I'm also changing between those dialects. Depends on if I'm talking to someone from the west side or from Govdegena and uh, west uh, part. And the same, of course, as uh, if I'm talking with somebody from Karasjoka and east. So okay. I'm, in a way, correcting my dialect towards who I'm talking to. Yeah, so so we cannot be sure here if she talks will, west will, or east. Okay, I will uh, <laughs> make sure because uh, normally in in this uh, like in situation like this, I do have the western Kautokeino yeah. yeah. dialect. Okay, yeah. is is Shoshiaori on the in the Kautokeino municipality or is it in the Karashoka? It's divided. It's divided by the, by the river. So what about your house? Or the house where you. It is next to the river, but on the west side. So my uh, okay. my dialect is uh, is uh, west the Kautokeino, okay. and my neighbor two hundred meters on the other side they speak Karasho, and it has always been like that. Okay. Being next, Strange. Being next to the river, are you safe now? Sorry. Yeah. Are Sorry? you are you safe? There's a lot of floods up there. Yeah, it's a lot of. Um, right now but um, I I think uh, at least at, at uh, Shoshari, the, the small village it's not that much water okay yeah and Risten is in Oslo for the moment she moved yes. there 10 years ago so so she is safe yeah, I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, <It's> water. <laughs> yeah it 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 came here uh, uh, a suggestion that we that that I read every second line and that you read every second line. Maybe yeah. it's more natural, and then we can can change it to the other way. So, uh, uh, so if you are Johan or if you are Elraud, no. I think it's natural that you are Johan because of. Uh, because of the gender issue. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we start like <laughs> this at least. Lakodus <laughs> Vieliat. Do you have brothers? You are good then. Yet they are Pavel. Lakodus Appa Vieliat. Yeah. Gilleko Gatchalit Yorkalit might I. Yeah, yeah, I do have two, and then I have a sister also. Do you have sisters and brothers? Yeah, mostly Okta or Abba. And can I stop here just to hear you say the word Abba because th these double Bs are a little bit difficult. I have a sister, it means, but c could you say Abba? How do you say that? Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. 
Kostat orro. Hur skiljer vi? Det har orro oslostal. Det har dock och farren gatsat åhbo. Med ne åhpa hedgin barkat. Det har orro oslostal. She lives in Oslo now. Det har dock och farren. She has there moved, she has moved there, Gatsat Oahbo, uh, to, to eat studies or to, to get, uh, to get uh, educated. Maidne uh, Barakat. She means she intends to work as a teacher. Mobiljat läbar färden tromsi. Unna väljas bara ka bensinstationnas. Jag stora välja valta åhbo. Should we repeat? Uh, you, you mean that, that the others can repeat? Maybe they repeat on their, on their own. But it's a good idea to take some space, of course, so it's possible. Maybe you can read it again and take uh, take a, a space so that they can repeat the first, on their own. Yeah. The first sentence. Yeah. Moviljat labba farren tromsi. My two brothers. Moviljat. My brothers, two of them, uh, has moved to Tromsø. Yeah, and then. Unna väljas bara ka bensinstationnas. Little brother is working at the petrol station or gas station. Stora välja valta åhbo. And the older brother or big brother is uh, studying. Yes. Valta, taking. Uh, taking mil ohpo, taking what education is or learning. Hmm? What is ohpo? Education or taking? Can you take when you're taking taking a co course? Uh, I'm not sure on how to. Yeah, when you're taking a course of studying or educating. Taking knowledge, taking study, taking. How do you say, would you, I, I thought, I thought, how do you say it in Swedish? <laughs> I don't know even that. Uh, I'm taking, I'm getting an education. Yeah, he's getting an education. That's a good translation. Uh, and, and the big brother is getting an education. Går en utbildning, yes. And then, Valda Oahbo. And then I, Johan says, no, but, Oabba. What about the sister? Oabba orru lappe de gomun. Oabba orru lappe de gomun. Sister is living here like me. De gomun like me. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should comment. There are some questions here on, on the way. Tromsa or Romsa? Uh, some of you have seen this Romsa or Romsi, and that's absolutely okay, as Tromsa is also okay. Most of these double consonant words, like also Krovna, uh, meaning crown or the, the money we have here in Norway and Sweden. Uh, it becomes rovna. You take away the first letter mm. in, in double. So romsa would be absolutely okay, but tromsa is not wrong either. And uh, and romsi it would be, yeah. And and also, yeah. So that was one question. And then what's the difference between gatsat and valdit? Oh, well, it's it's 
Gatsat and Valdit are really different words, but in connection with Oahpo, they, they have a similar meaning. But Gatsat originally means to eat or to take something in your mouth, and Valdit is to take, like to steal almost, or to take. It's another. But in this connection with Oahpo, I, th I would say that it's similar. Or what do you say, Ristan? Is there a... Godzot is uh, also yeah, eating, but it's a kind of eating like a soup, eating soup, Godzot. Yeah, yeah. with with a pasta. With a pasta. What is it in English? Spoon, yeah, with spoon. Godzot. Yeah. Godzot. Yeah, maybe you could say that there is a, also a style difference between Gatsat Ohpo and Valdit Ohpo. Gatsat is a little bit more stylish, isn't it? To say yeah. Gatsat Ohpo. <laughs> it's a little bit more academic or correct Sami or something like that, traditional. But it's Valdit uh, is 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 more like or n everyday language in some way, I think. But of course, it's different in different areas. Where were we? Is it Ellen Raunas to, or did you already read that one? I did read that one. Okay. My sister, she's living here like me. Orobako vana mat mait da da do your parents also live here? La badal separeren achi la farren altai. La badal separeren achi la farren altai. They are now separated. My father has uh, moved to Alta. He's living in Alta. Yeah. No go. Oh, is that so? Jo, la jo jagi aigi. Yeah, it is almost a year ago. Ton illa tiedoske gullan ko illa tappe eret. Mukto kaltat la hukman alle olo dambirra manjimus jagi. Ton illa tiedoske gullan ko ihtt I'm sure you haven't heard about it because you're not from uh, from here. But that has been a lot of talk speaking. Uh, they have been speaking, yeah. Yeah, a lot about the last year. And and I also heard that you had an esh here. You can write this manjemush with an esh or 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 with an s. I know in the in the word book they have both of them. Do, mm. do you feel that manjemush is more west or manjemush, or do, do you have a connect? Do you know that word? Because I'm a little bit unsure about. Which ones? Manjemus. 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 I do use both. Uh, I think Manjemus is uh, the uh, east side. Manjemus, Kautokain. Kautokain, west side. Manjemus, with, with the ash in yeah. Kautokain. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank Manjemus. you Manjemus. For, for that. You can use both. Yeah. And and we also got a comment that when you say Dal, you say mm -hmm. you say almost dal with like if it was written uh, with a there mm -hmm. uh, and uh, where did we have the the, the da, dal la badal la badal separeren la badal no ko la badal separeren la badal just uh, she says something she pronounces approximately like this mm -hmm. but we don't write it like that this dear sound sometimes in in uh, when you speak you can use there 
And, and in some situations, you can actually write it also with, uh, for example, the word studenta, you can write, I've seen in the dictionary also studenta, mm -hmm. uh, but, but the, a word beginning with a D, even though you can say dal, um, we, we write it still with, with a D. Okay, and, and it's Johan's turn. In Lehkullan Maitege Diempirra. I have not heard anything about that. No, no, la koistille. No, no, la koistille. Yeah, that's the situation. Mon ipmidan. I understand. And how do you say this ipmirdan? Do you have a clear R or do you say ipmirdan? No, ipmirdan. What? Monipmirdan. 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 Yeah, ipmirdan. Ipmirdan. But if, if we, for example, take another word, yutashan, then the R and the DD goes together to one retroflex sound. Isn't that so, if you say this word? Yutashan. Yutashan, exactly. Mm -hmm. When yeah. you have the, the RDD, is, it's like a retroflex. Yutashan. Yutashan. But when it's only one R and one D, then it's ipmirdan, a little mm -hmm. bit more like that. They set two, two separate sounds. If we're done. Uh, thank you, that's good. Should we try once and uh, just read it through, but the other way around, so we also have uh, have that version. Version, if you are Johan. No, I must. The Molan Okay. Lähkudus viljat. Joa, kuokkite. Ja te oabba väl. Lähkudus oappat ja viljat. Musle okta oabba. Kosta horru. Te horru uslus tääl. Täällä on tohko faadren katsa hohpu. Mein oabba hetkin korakat. Mu viljat läpa farren tromsi. Una vielä sparka bensinstationas ja stora vielä valta oahpu. No baappa. Oabba orroda. Oabba orroda pe te komun. Orru poko vanoa maitaappe. Okei. Okay. Okei. Okay. Now. We got a comment here that it was okay. too too quick. I, I I think it was my fault. We start to go over again, and uh, you were Johan this time. Yeah. Lähkodus viljat. Joa kuokkite. Ja te oabba väl. Lähkodus oappat ja viljat. Musla okta oappa. Kosta horru. Ta horru uslus tal. Ta hla tohko faaren katsa hohpu. Meine ohpa hetkin parakat. Muuvieljat läpä farren tromsi. Unna vieljas baraka bensiinstasuunas. Ja stuorra vielja valta oahpu. No ba, oappa. Oappa orru daap. Te komun. Orru po kvanema maitaappe. Läpa dal separeren. 
ähtsille farren aaltai. No ko? Joo, läju jagi aiki. Ton itle tietoske kullon. Ko itle tappe eeret. Muhtu kaldahle huppman oalle oolodan pirra. Manje mus jagi. Inlet kullan maitege tjempirra. Na nule koit tilli. Mun ikmedan. Joo. Kiihtu. Ja kun mun lään, kun mun dan muistan, te mun lasi handian ästiä. Okei. Ja... Jos, jos minä huppaat vähän grammatiikka pirradaas, teille, teille okta aasi, mille odas, eh, sorry, one, if we talk a little bit about grammar here, the, there is one thing that is new, and it's this, um, uh, manje mus, manje mus, manje, They they ask here how manjemus is is uh, pronounced. Can you say this word, Ristan? Manjemus. Manjemus. It's like an N word and a J. Manjemus. Yeah. And uh, and then it was this question: What form is dian in dianbirra? Uh, well, we have this. You could say dampirra, inlet kullan maitige dampirra. I haven't heard anything about that. But you can also have this, dan would, would be coming from dat. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, you're pointing out something. Demonstrative pronoun. Uh, but then we have different, we have five of them. We have dat. And then it would have been dan pirra. I haven't heard anything about this. We have touched upon them at some place. And then we have this dian and, and diet. And that is something that is connected to you. The thing that you are talking about. Dan pirra, dian I haven't heard anything about that. What you are talking about. That's the... That's the, the meaning of, of this. But what I was going to say was about this, what we, in Swedish we call it perfect. I think we call it like that in English too. I have moved. Uh, that's a new, we, we, earlier we have only talked in present tense, but here is introduced. Uh, 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 how how we we say la farran he has moved and mon lan farran i have moved and and you have moved don lat farran this word is the same all the time but this word is is maybe you call it past perfect that could be that could be correct that that you call it per, past past perfect in english uh, in in chapter two here so me, 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 me uh me get it ristana on a hash we we thank ristan for the help here in pronunciation very nice to have you part of this uh, group here and these lessons and I will also ask you I think in the end of the class to to help me with these things so so we will see if we if if you can do that too uh, perfect participle 
is used together with the verb laht to be to build perfect tense or as it was suggested here i'm sorry that i i i'm not so good in english grammar but it's called it's kai is suggesting could it could it be called past perfect and maybe past perfect is is a better uh way to say it maybe it should have been past perfect here i if, if some of you are absolutely sure about how to to say about this uh, this form uh, present perfect somebody is uh, suggesting and people are thanking Risten here very much just perfect tense is good okay i i continue with the the perfect tense as i have written it here uh, the construction is similar to the construction in english compare i have run and monlem virkan uh, you have the words in the same order this word the last one is the same all the time he has run i have run you you're just changing this word compare uh, together with the 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 person who is doing it this subject so in the same way it becomes don laht don laht virkan you have run son la virkan um perfect participle so if we start with even syllable verbs to make this perf perfect participle uh you you use the strong grade as in the infinitive but then depending of the ending vowel of the infinitive uh, the perfect participle is marked with either on 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 or on so if if the, the the easiest one is is the 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 verbs ending with at without the apostrophe uh, and here we say man it's man not to go and to make the perfect participle man non you just change the t to an n so the, the, by by you can do this with every verb that ends in an at here you just change the t to an n and then you have mannan mon lan mannan ton le mannan son le mannan and in the if it ends with it then it's a little bit more tricky because it doesn't keep the i it becomes an a with an up with a with a what did we call that we didn't say apostrophe we said accent accent thank you very much with an accent uh, so valdit becomes valdan mon lam valdan ohpo i have taken uh, uh, education i have gotten education so if we take another verb with et did you uh, okay 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 question here about even syllable and infinitive mean and perfect participle well perfect participle i'm not sure how to explain what it what it means it's a form that is used to to make a perfect tense in in language in many languages or uh, we we talk about four tenses in uh, in uh, in for example sami language we have present tense and then we have it's what happens today when we talk about today i walk mon manan and then we have what happened yesterday i walked i, I walk and and then we have yesterday it's called past tense i think in english mon manan we haven't talked about that i i walked and then we have two more tenses times that we talk about we talk so about something that called the perfect 
tens and that is mon mon lan mannan mon lan mannan i have walked and then the last one plus plus quam perfect is it is it the same in english plus quam perfect what, what do you call it i think it's just plus perfect plus perfect thank you plus plus perfect uh, mon legend mannan i had walked when something happened and and you can see that there is a connection between this one if i cut it out uh, and uh, and there is a connection like this sorry for this but, but i'm talking about what happens now i am here i'm i'm going i'm walking and i have been i have walked and now i'm here i have walked to this place and now i'm here and then there is a connection if you talk about what happened yesterday i walked and then before that something other happened and it was i had walked and then i met this guy so so the these these four tenses these four four times are oh sorry sorry yeah I I, I I wrote I wasn't I wrote wrong more legend man no. so so and when anyway to you to 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 make the these ten the, the perfect tense and the plus perfect you need a, a form of the verb in English we have the word the form walked and maybe you call the form walked in English for a perfect participle uh, I'm not sure about that one, but in Sami we at least call this verb the verb form mannan. For, for, uh, we call it a, a per, per, per participle, perfect participle. Uh, and, and we haven't talked about the past tense and so on because it's a little bit difficult to to. To, to talk about that and we will do that in the 11th or 10th lesson just so that you get a fee feeling for the, so that you have seen it after this course but it's it's not part of this course because in this course we talk about the present tense and then we also add some perfect uh, because here we use the present the, the we we we, uh, we conjugate this word this verb in present and then we use the per perfect participle to make a form and and therefore we uh, today i talk about this perfect participle what about even syllable yeah et. they i think they are coming down here there are some questions about how you do here 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 i will show you soon uh, so that was one, that question. And there was also this question about infinitive. What is an infinitive? That is the form of the verb that is in the dictionary. Uh, in, in Norwegian, for example, å, å hoppe is what is in. You cannot say, jeg hopper, and then you think that hopper should be in the dictionary because you need to find the infinite, infinitive. The, the the basic form of the word so that is that and even syllable we talk about uh, depending on how many syllables there are in these verbs they act in a little bit different way so therefore we in sami we talk about three different verbs uh, one of them is the the even syllables syllable verbs they have two syllables or they can have four also but mainly two and then we have the odd syllable verbs like this one they have three syllables muy da lit three syllables here you have only two syllables or root or root you can count the vowels vowels is the long sounds that you can ah oh e that you don't you don't put your mouth together you don't you're not uh, push you're not making a well 
a vowel. How do you describe a vowel? It's an open sound, isn't it? Yeah, an open sound. You let the sound a, e, e, o. That's the vowels. You can count them. Here you have vowels in two places. Orrut. That's two two syllables. Guarrut. Two syllables. Even though there are two vowels on in a row, a, a so-called diphthong here. And then we have contract verbs, and they are also special. So that was just a jump in, as 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 there was a question here about this a vowel you can sing very easily ah you can maybe also sing on a on a consonant like s no you cannot sing on a consonant maybe yeah okay that's a good you can sing on a vowel that's that's a good suggestion on how to l but there are some semi vowels that are not really and you can sing upon them also so uh, but I was talking about valdit, uh, that valdit, the e i t verbs becomes a n, and then the last kind of of even syllable verbs, the the ones ending with o t, that they become go they they the 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 y becomes a O, and there, in, in connection to that, there is also this umlaut, this change in the start. If there is a double consonant, the, the second one is falling off. So, guarrut becomes korron, monlen korron. I have su, su, if you sue something with a suing machine, mon, I have soon, su, sued, soon. Huh. So. So on, so on. Thank you. Vowel, a speech sound such as A or E created by the relatively free passage of breath, A and E, yeah, it's relatively free, through the larynx and oral cavity, usually forming the most prominent and central sound of the syllable. Yeah, thank you. While in consonant, the air is stopped completely for a moment, plosive, p, t, k, or with friction. S, sh, yeah. Vowels are sounds when the air from your lungs pass through your mouth without being blocked on the way out. Ah, yeah. Got some good, good comments here. Yes, the vowels and the consonant is maybe the only thing I know. Okay, so syllables, no. Okay, and syllables now. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the odd syllable verbs. They are quite easy also. Instead of the it, you take away, you, you, you use the an. Yeah. Monlan muitalan. I have told. Muitalit is the form you see in the dictionary. Uh, but then the verb lat is a little bit special. It has an irregular form. Lamash. Mon len lamash, I have been in Kautokeino. Mon len lamash quota keinos. But the, all, the, all the others are ending in an an here. And then we have the perfect participle of contract verbs, and they keep their. They keep their. Uh, Vowel. They just changed the T to an N. Why didn't I take uh, uh, something with an O T instead? Like uh, what verb with an O T? What do they have in this North Sami?
They use liikot to like. Liikot, liikon, I have liked. Liiko, liikon. Like that it should have been. Uh, yeah, so so this chapter seven two was just about the form actually, and now we start talking about the perfect tense. Is built by the verb let conjugated in present tense plus a perfect participle. A phrase like Ernest has told me or so is in North Sami. Er, 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 Ernest Ernest la muistalan. This is in present and this is in. The, the perfect participle he has told me the verb let is conjugated with the subject while the perfect participle is left unchanged more examples mahte le porran mahte has eaten sille chokkanda på kvöktet imo they have sat here for 2 hours ki ki le muista landutnya att det mahte le kironis who has told you that mahte is in kirona Kare lelämar skolas. Kare has been in school. So if you want to say I have been in school, how would you say that? Anybody could would would dare to try to change this Mon, sentence? Mon lelämar skolas. Och det väl once again. Mon lelämar skolas. Exactly. Mon län. You, you need to change the, this one verb only, the so-called uh, finite verb form. You have one finite verb form, one form that is connected to the person who is doing it, and the other forms are left unchanged. Mon lan lamar skolas. So anybody else would try to say you have been in school or even have you been in school if we make this a question? Anybody dare to say have you been in school? Perfect. Let go on lamar schoolas. So we change only this form of the verb. Uh, with don and to make it a question of course we need the go also and then you can also uh, the the left verb you can also put in the negative uh, so mahte ilah porran means mahte didn't eat and if you want to say i haven't eaten how do you say that? I have not eaten. Is it eaten? <laughs> Sorry for that. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody yeah. suggest? Mon inland border. Octivel. Mon inland. Mon inland border. Exactly. Mon inland border. I haven't eaten. And so So here are some. Uh, here is a perfect tense exercise. I I think I will put you into groups, two and two, and you can you can try to. Oh, now I have eleven more uh, comments here. I haven't seen that. Oh, you have you have already suggested good things here. Uh, so, so if I put you into groups and you can work on this for a while, Ed, I think you have this. I can also put it. If you don't have it, you I can put it in the chat before you go to your room. I start 
anyway, I, I start to invite you. I start to Yes. Ka Kara, is that a man or a woman? Um, Kari, Kari is is a woman. At least, uh, I I have been working on this. Uh, uh, well, what does Ristan say about this? How would you? Can we? Satikomi yarratus mait mait on jahka tan kare perra. Yes, it's a woman. Okay. Kare is a <laughs> woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you write that? Risten kare. Kare. With E, with I. I kari, oi kare. Kare, risten kare. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I've seen some people writing it Kari with an I in the end. Mm. But then on the Finnish side, Kari can be, in the Finnish culture, Kari is a name for men, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's, it's a little bit like Karlo or, or something. Uh, Kari. 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 Yes. Yeah, but Kari, Kari in... Kari uh, is woman's name. Uh, once again, say it in Finnish. Uh, is... Kari is a man and Kari is mm. woman. With two A. Uh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. in Finnish. Is wo woman in Finnish. Finnish. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. But I guess in this. Uh, in this dialogue, it's in Sami culture. I think Kari traditionally is only a woman's name. Um, I was going to put you into groups on two and two, 52 participants. I make 26 groups and I create the rooms and then I will send in the chat uh, the file. If you haven't it already, if you have it, you can just go to your rooms, of course. Uh, so, uh, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dia tälle ei mii juo ikka. No. Mii sunammale. Sunammale ja mohtale. Ta lõõb uub, mis kõht. Ma tead on ta. Jaa. Ma ei hoop, me tõu pirra. Vaasara. La... Oi... Oi... Ne... Kulango. Kulango... Lavlu. Me love lam. <laughs> no, they have yoika. Eko yoika. Mm mm. Is it? I know. Love la da la. Don't. Um, me la sore vaha da kor luhti. No. Luhti. Me to dahka. Luhti. Da la ko yoika. Mm hmm. Luhti da. It's almost like a bird. Lotte. Lotte. Yeah. 
<laughs> Låtid, that, that's a, a one piece of yoik. Mm-hmm. The song, the yoik. Låtid. Yoik, when you're singing, yoiking. Låtid, lofta. Låtid. Vad lågt? Lotti Lofti. Eh. Oh, Lotti Lofti, ja. Mm. <laughs> Lotti Joik. No, alltså, Lofti is a substantive. So, so, mm-hmm. so if you want to say the, the bird Joiks, then it, uh, you cannot use the word Lofti. You need to Men, say... Jag vill just säga Lotti Lofti. No, jo, jo, då. Okej. Okay. Mm. The, the birds joik. Yeah. Mm. That was. Gulla gun jufja joike. Ah. Jufja. Gulla gulla. Nu jufja. Svana. Mm. Swan. Mhm. Swan. Ja. Do you hear the the swan joik? Gulla gun. Njufja, joika. Mun fallen kullan ko joika. Ja iko njufja slämä it luhti, voi muhti olla. Eilet varra. Mida lä njufja? Njufja ma, joo, tiedätte, lulli saab me lähtä joika. Joo, iko lä njufja, voi njufja. Joo, jääpä njufja luhti. Joo. Sen vartti jutsa lähtä muusun taas lähtä nukkaa vai? Njufja is swan the swan has a yoik the swan has a yoik but we don't remember it uh, okay um giaka giaka ja giaka jo jäken ja giaka så det might vara lohti What is kierka in English? Kierka. Bird who uh, does this with his head in north and south and every directions. Yeah. Tuk, 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 tuk. What is it called? Jörk in Swedish. Kuku. Kuku, Kuku mm-hmm. in Finnish. Kuku. Taki. Taki. Mm-hmm. Kuku. Oh, Kuku. Kuku. It it also has a a yoik, I think. Kuku. No, I'm not sure. Kuku. Kuku. Um, was it uh, difficult with the uh, kaukur? Kaukur. Ki- oh, kaukur in. Kaukur. Stor, stor, stor. Kahkur, oiston dalle kahkur. That's another bird. Sturlum. But you say geikur when you write it aukur. You say geikur in Iceland. The au is a. Ah, geikur. Oh, sorry, the geikur. Of course, yeah. Will we go through the exercises? Mo mo bussa joika, ja. He yeah, is how, right now. <laughs> it's it's joiking right now, joika yeah. dal. Sounds like a joik. <laughs> huh? Sounds like a joik. Yeah. Well, it's snoring, but I think it sounds like a joik. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Yeah, could be something similar. <laughs> Uh, sharing perfect tense. Was it difficult? The the seven four the exercises. It was okay. It was okay. I have seen you before. Anybody knows how to say that? Then you you use. Uh, maybe I should have written here what. No, I, I, I suggested here in the first line what verbs I wanted you to use. Uh, if you say oidnalan, then you, you use, you could say like this, molen oidnalan tuina oudal, I've seen you, I've met with you before. 
but if you want to then then you use the verb the verb oidna lit and it yeah. becomes oidna lan but if you use the verb oidnit i've seen you before oh, how do you do with oidnit to make it a perfect participle it's ending with it here so we go up and look at the and it's it's not three syllables in oidnit it's Rather, it okay. works like this one, baldit and oidnit. So, oidnan. Just the perfect oidnan. Monlan oidnan. And then you. Do. Do. Monlan oidnan do otal. Very good. And if you say, I, I haven't seen you before, how do you say that? You suggest like this. I write it even though it's not correct. Mon inland, I none do all Perfect. That's correct. Because uh, uh, when you say I am, then you say mon lan. Yeah. Uh, but if you say I am not, then you say mon in lat. You just put one N in one of the words. You don't conjugate all of the words for moon, but just one of the verb forms. So moon in lat oid nandu. I haven't seen you. And what about this one? I have heard a lot about you. Yes, very good. Frank and I are happy so far. <laughs> you got it right. But this is where it got difficult. The next one we got stuck. Uh huh. Why haven't you told me this before? Uh, why you? Why haven't you told me? I think we got stuck because of the order of the words. We didn't know where. Exactly, yeah. Where to put the uh, negation particle and where to put the, the question, the go. Okay. What really, really stuck about you, you, you don't need the question particle because you all already have oh, a command. Yeah, so you don't need that. But if we start with what kind of verb you, you want to use here? Moitalit. Uh, so, yes, moitalit. Man. man uh, see left again. Who 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 had who has? Um, oh, it's you. So why haven't you? Manne do. Manne, who? How do you say you in in Sami in in nominative like you? Don. Don. Okay, and then we continue with the verb. Manne don. And then you could you could say it in the negative, but you because it here we have it. It don't eat. Yeah, but then we need also the. Oh, we need the la. The... Exactly. Yeah. Man, don't eat la. Muitalam. Dan. Or dan. It's. Dan. Oh, done. There is a question here about what is the difference between manne and manin, and it's not a, a difference. It's it's similar. Manin donit, manin donit, manne. Well, Risten, do you have a, a feeling for this? Could it is manin? Would manin also be okay? Manin donit, let. Yeah. Yeah. You could you could you could jump jump between them. Muitalit, mm. muitalit. Can you say Risten, can you help us with muitalan and muitalit? Muistalan. I repeat, muistalan. So the the I sound has is a, is a little bit like a 
sound or muhtalit. It's muhtalan. Muhtalan, yeah. Mm. Shouldn't there be munya in there somewhere? Told me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you're you're correct. Here is a comment from Jana. Mannet on itlet munya. For example, here muhtalin da muhtalan da na or mannet on itlet muhtalan da munya outa. For me. And what about this one? You have already learned and a lot. Mot midandat. How do we say this one? I have to think we didn't get this far. We got stuck to the one before. Okay. Anybody else want to try? Ton. Yeah. Ton. Let you wahpan olu. Don't let you wahpan olu. Very good. Can you say maidege? Uh, no, maidege is normally in negative settings. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, we were discussing that. Yeah. yeah. So if you wanted to say you haven't learned, uh. you haven't learned anything. Maidege is like any, anything. Okay. Yeah, uh, in that negative sense. I mean, you cannot say I have learned anything. That mm. you you need to use anything just in the negative. Uh, he hasn't learned anything. Then it's okay. But if I have learned, then you say something in English. And this my decade is also in the negative. So anything. don't don't eat let yes anything don't eat let wahpan my decade. You haven't learned anything. Then, then, then it would be the my Yeah, that's what. Thank you. Yeah. Don't need that one. And what about this one? I have at least learned so, learned something. Anybody? Molen yuape wahpan yuida. Molen yuape. Wahpan Yoida, very good. Thank you. Is B a particle or you are be you are you are you are you are I yeah I'm not sure what what kind of you are is it a you are yeah maybe it's maybe it's a uh, Par particle, you up, you up, you up. Adverb. It says adverb, but it can also be. Yeah, it says adverb in the in the dictionary. You up. Jeden falls in auf Deutsch. Wenigstens, zumindest. Uh, word order question don't let you wahpan olo rather than don't let wahpan olo don't let you wahpan olo is the general rule le plus adverb plus per, past participle uh, yeah the, the 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 participles i mean the the infinite forms of the verb can be put in the end uh, but here, for example, you could jump around with Monlen Yupi Yoita Oahpan. This Oahpan you could put a little bit on different Monlen Oahpan Yupi Yoita. That is also okay, I think. Don it let my take Oahpan. That's also okay. Monlen Kullan Ollo Tupira, Monlen Tupira Kullan, Monlen Ollo Tupira Kullan. That's also okay. So, so. In, but but this oidnan, this participle, you can move around, but you cannot move around these two. You cannot say mon in to otalet oidnan. That is not. <laughs> but you need to have the, those in connection to each other. Mon in let to otal oidnan, or mon in let to oidnan otal, or mon in let. Why not do all that? 
yellow bit. And then we, and uh, the question about the adverb, where it's placed, I'm not sure. I think you can move it around. I, the adverbs, I think you can, you can move. And here we have some three syllable nouns, and this is a difficult uh, part of Sami language. Uh, they are, they, sometimes they have only two uh, uh, syllables in the nominative, bana, the word, the, the word form in the dictionary. But when we put them in like plural, nagat, then they, they become bigger and they, they, they get these three syllables, nagat. Uh, so therefore we call them three syllable nouns because in genitive or in plural, they have three syllables. And they they are similar to the. Um, I think we 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 have talked about the the even syllable substantives before, like manna, child, or what did we? What kind of words did we have? Uh, the 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 and the these have this. They get. They have a stronger these these even syllable substantives. They have a stronger grade in nominative than in, for example, in nominative singular than in the other forms. But these are the other way around. They they have a a, a weaker grade in the nominative and then a, a stronger grade, a larger form in most of them. But there are also examples of of such words that have the, the same the consonant in all the forms, like isit. And here the, the, the T is actually a D, isi, da, but you see it when the A come there and you say the, the husband's. Please? No, oh, so yeah, this Please. was, yeah, this was the thing that people. Muachta is not child, is Yeah, no. exactly, yeah, yeah, I was a little bit quick here. And also the next one is wrong. Yeah, I see, I see. <laughs> Thank you. That was the comment I also saw on, on Facebook, but I didn't understand it because I didn't easy it husband. Or owner also, right? Owner? No, no. <laughs> no. Sit, easy it. See, it, yeah. In connection, in connection to other words, it can have another, another meaning, but not just easy. It. Uh, but for example, in see the easy, it can be like uh, leader of see uh, the uh, 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 traveling group uh, or or so but but is it on its own means husband i think and alit blue is correct okay yeah, yeah. Uh, but can you make a plural out of water snow snows this is just a uh, grammar. Uh, I mean, it's okay. it's not. Uh, I haven't thought about if it's possible to use it. Muhtagat. It seems a little bit strange, but <laughs> but maybe you can say. Emon ah emon dia. Tristan orroko veyola stadja muhtagat makka ke okta vuos vai lakola. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the snows of those times uh, mm. were, 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 were good. Maybe you could say something like that. Mm. Yeah. 
or something like that. So it, it could be used in some way, but here, of course, it's just put here as a, for, for you to see the pattern. And some of these are maybe not so much used. For example, Mohta Gikun would never be used, Mohta or it seems quite odd. And then Alit, you have already seen, it was blue. The, the line between adjectives and substantives are not so 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 clear in Sami. Some some many many words can be used or as an adjective or as an substantive. Like sapmi, for example, can be used as a adjective and substantive. Sapmalash. Sapmalash can also be a, a substantive, and it can also be a sapmalash baraku uh, uh, or a sapmalash. I think it can be an adjective too, like sapmalash. Sapmalash laulun wuhki. Sapmalash laulun wuhki. You could, I think you could say. Uh, and you, if you look at the the endings, they are a little bit different. There are it's a similarities to to what we had in the in the uh, even stem. Here we had like mana, manite, and then we had manai, manite. So we have this i. It comes back. But but here it gets another a little other form because it's it comes in another place of the of the rhythm, muhtagi. It comes on the third, uh, and and the second syllable is is not stressed, and the third is a little bit more stressed again, muhtagi. Even though the last syllable is is not so stressed, but manai. Here it's just one e, but here it's double e. Muhtagi, muhtagi. Or can can we can we can could we re ask Kristen to read uh, maybe peana in the different forms? Mm. Logan alkus was. Yeah, yeah. Just don't log at alkus peana ja te peat nagat ja Bärna. Bärna gott. Bärna gå. Bärna git. Bärna gi. Bärna gita. Bärna gis. Bärna gin. Bärna gin. Bernagikoin Bernan Jo And what does No, jo, loga ainast ja muohta ja ja muohtaga vai mi kullat eroos Muohta Muohtagat I repeat Muohta Muohtagat Good, thank you. And if you say to the to the snow, also for example, muhtagi. Yes. Uh, and what about this? Can you say also this in some forms here? Isit, isidat, isida, isirit. Isidi, Isidita, Isidis, Isidin, Isidin, Isidikoin, Isidin. Thank you. You smooth this about an is the there. No, no. 
What I about also, it? I could also, because I'm, I'm using there, EC the. Yes. EC the. Yeah. I could also use the other way. I can repeat if you like. Yeah, you but. D. But it's, I don't know. With a there, you mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, of course you could do that, but but why? It would also be interesting to know why you do the there sound. Is it because it's easier to say it, or is it because you think it's more beautiful, or was it? What is the? I would say I I think that you think it's that it's more beautiful for you, easy the or or or, or I think, what? I think it's al almost. Um, I think it's a dialect uh, um, difference. Okay. So, and it's more like uh, smoother to say, you see the. Exactly, yeah. Mm. It's more uh, like a yoik. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now we're starting. You <laughs> <laughs> see the, instead of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, I think we can let you say just with the there. We don't need the, the there, do we? Or, or you can read the, just the first two of them with an ordinary D sound. If you, if you say that that is also in some dialect. Is it? Is it that? 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 No. Is it Thank you. you. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's good. And all it blue. It's maybe not so, maybe, but we can also ask you to say this because of the A sound. Alit. Ali hot. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and maybe we also read the, the we, we, we also use you ask, I ask you to help me with the last, uh, uh, dialogue here, uh, and here we have some uh, some words for different uh, family members. But if we start with, uh, "Are you Marat?" and mm. "I am John." My tvirpeli dalboraka. My Vilpelli tal poraka. What is my um, cousin, male cousin, doing? Yeah, what is my male cousin doing? And then you mean by male cousin, you mean you talk about me, John. What yeah. are you doing? It's like talking in third person can sometimes be okay, or or it can be normal. Uh, and I answer. I don't do so much. What about my female cousin? In Munkenu Ollu. I'm not doing so much either. In Munkenu Ollu. Kosatonle Yodus. Where are you going? Kosa ton läht jodus. Lön muotha kehtsä i mannamme. Lön muotha kehtsä i mannamme. I'm going to my aunt's place. Muotha, a younger sister of my mother. And there is a difference kehtsä. That's uh, the East uh, dialect, home to, to, to a place, another place, Gerche. More to my mother, to my aunt's place. So would you say, would you rather use like Lusa or? Uh... Uh, in Godgate, no, in West dialect is Lusa. More to Lusa, Mannam. Okay. But if I'm talking to someone from Karashok or that, no, and I'm using Gerche. The more I Gerche, Manan. Okay, yeah, so we can, we can let it be here. It's, it can be a little bit combined there, a little yeah. bit of everything. 
And here we also have this manna me that is like English ing form. I'm going this progressive form, but we haven't talked about it in the grammar yet, but it's also here. Uh, and I continue. Tselkete tervodait koskai. Send my regards to to my aunt, but as she to 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 auntie, but as she has another relation to me, I'm using another word because for you it was Muatha. It was the younger sister of your mother, mm. but she is the elder sister of my mother. So there are three women, three sisters in this, in our parents' uh, family. And, and your mother might be the oldest one. And, and this uh, Muatha is younger than your mother. Wasn't that so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but she is older than, so, so my mother is also your Muatha. So she could be going to my mother actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ortnegis, my kulhalla. Ortnegis. Ortnegis, my kulhalla. In order, we we keep in touch, or how do you translate kulhalla? Yeah. Yeah. Keep in touch. Mm. Mm. And then I added. We we talked before the lesson today. I got some questions about how to say woman and women and niso and it becomes nissonat in plural, isn't that so? Or could you say nisson also in the nominative? Tale okta nisson, nisson olmos. Tristan, can you help me here too? To would you say would you say niso or would you say nisson olmos? Nisson olmos. You would say Nissan almost, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can write it. Nissan all Nissan almost. Maybe that is the standard way here in uh, I think how to okay, you know all of mot. Nissan mm -hmm. all of mot. And what about uh, oh, and would you say all 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 my all my all of all my almost why would you say Deodo? Deodo when I'm talking to you because you are speaking kind of Kultigate, no? Yeah. And uh, if I'm talking to my cousins in Karashok, then I would say Almai. Almai Olmos. Almai. Almai Olmos, well. Almai Olmos. Kopsakt. Almai, Almai Olmos. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, I write them here. I will send you an updated version of but then we also have lots of words here siesta barney for sun and ganda is also for sun isn't it mm -hmm. ganda and and lunta is for a little we could have that too somewhere here or is it the lunta isn't that a boy like a small boy or something mm -hmm. yeah uh, and then we have these different words for a uh, younger brother chetsi uncle that is father's younger brother, and if the uncle is elder, then it's ehki. And I put some money, some other words here too. Could you help us read this word, Riston? Money, 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 sasa, money, sasa. Viva, 
Vivasasa. Vivasasat. Vuhpa. Vuhpat. Vuoni. Vuotnamat. Spile. Spilet. Sivjot. Sivjogat. Maahka. Maagat. And uh, was it difficult to, did some of you try to understand these, for example, spile? How should we, I try to write here as, as in one of the dictionaries. For example, me, if I would have been married, then my wife's sister's husband would be my spile. Is it is it understood? Is that brother-in-law the yes. the bro the brother of? It's not the brother of my wife. It's the person who married her. It's called her the same villa. In okay. English, in English, you call them both brother-in-law. All right. Yeah. So I should have write, written that instead, but but. Uh, no, that's right, because you're expressing correctly there, but in English you just call Okay, yeah, yeah. Brother -in -law, whether it's your sister's husband or your sister's, you know, your wife's sister's husband, it's also yeah, yeah. brother-in-law. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great to have you here, Risten, helping us with. It's so clear when you, when you, when we hear you say these words. It's, it's, it's really good. I think I'm, I'm so happy that you are taking part of this. Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> Do we? Who is, here is a question, who is my husband's brother's wife? Well, we'll see here. And who is my husband's brother's wife? Well, yeah, if you are a woman and you are married, for, for example, I guess, yeah, this is kind of, uh, yeah, I think this is very hetero. I mean, if you would be married uh, with two, two men, I don't think you would use these terms. So we, we, we take the like uh, heterosexual point of view here. Husband's brother's wife. So if you are married to a man, then he has a brother and that brother is married to another to a woman then you have a connection with this other woman and you call her i, I haven't learned these words i have to scroll down to see what the word was too complicated yeah Is there a term for that? Did it, did you find it here, Jana? I see you ask for this. Um, Hi, um, oh, because it's the counterpart of spiele. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay. So you're asking for something that I have forgotten to write, okay. I guess. That must be the situation. Uh, Risten vehkeha koton muudaina. Jos 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 ton lipset naitalan te ja ja jos ta ta tu isi dis lipsi velja ja jos tam velja slipsi eämit. Me da live she did out in your life. Son la moni kalo yet na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamo legend wild. Tamo kalo yet. 
Jätni. Kalle Jätni. Tuota alla alkaa saada halle kumplisertaa. No saadakin. Joo. Now it's starting to become complicated. Kalle Jätni. Should it be an um, uh, uh, accent, accent on the A? Kalo? Kalo Jätni. Mun jahkan tiiä sille T N. Kalo Jätni. Kalo Jätni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. And and there is a... a... Accent, yeah. Yeah. Kalo Jätni. And, and what about in plural then? Do you say Kalo Jänit? Jätnit. Kalu jänit. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, According doesn't. to the dictionary. Kalu jänit. Uh, the T falls away. It's kalu jänit. Kalu jänit. Kalu jätnit. Um, According to Sanit Wahpa N O. Kalu jätnit. Just le hempa kokta. Eller kallar jättigt. Ja. Mår den två av. If it's two brothers and two of the wives. Then they are kallar jättigt. Kallar jättigt. Ja. I would also. But it wasn't marked here so well in the, this dictionary. So I'm a little bit. But kallar jättigt. It's not yeah, used it's, so much anymore. No, no. That's why. Uh, so I have to write this down also. This would be uh, a wife's a wife's husband's uh, brother's wife. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Then we got that one too. And um, yeah, yeah. So I think we're uh, getting close to the end. Should we should we end up, or do do anyone of you have any more questions? Any any special Mm, what do you call it when you ask for something special? Requests. Uh, special requests, like um, s some special word that you want to hear Risten say or, or something like that. Yeah, Antony. Antony, yeah, that, that's interesting. We have been talking about the word um, mother. Mother Risten. Could you, could you say it in in your dialect. Antony. Antony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you said it in two different ways, I think. Or did you just say slower the second time? Yeah, it was slower. Antony. Okay, okay. And then in a, in a way you, you have a, 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 a N sound before the D sound. Antony. Yeah. And, and, and how do you say it in um, in the genit in in the plural. Etnit. Etnit. Yeah, and that then you don't have that sound. So, so. But how do you say it in Karashoka? Etnit. Etnit. Oh. Mm. Etnit. The mm. the diphthong is a little bit different. Etnit. Mm. And, and uh, in singular. In Karashoka? Yeah, it's the same in singular. And me. Mm. Okay, okay. But it's written in the same like there, but it's uh, pronounced like Yetnit. Oh. Yetnit. Mm. And can you pronounce ice? Yeknya. Ye, ye, Yeknya. Like a T sound. Yeknya. Okay. Yeknya. It's yeah, like a yeah. T, isn't it like a T sound there instead yeah. of the K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's a kind of. Yeah. So the yeah, not. Yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, and there, there are two versions. The, the 
either the N Y or the N. And N is more Karashok, isn't it? And Y N Y is more here. Y N Y. Y N Y. And here, uh, here are some more questions. Second cousin, would you use actual numbers? Yes. Isn't that no beyond What most missed Lohka time killed? Yakon at the use me that part that part chili get the lock to the no bin on belly, more the lock to the on belly. Okay. So for second cousin. Uh, for for the second cousin, I mean, your when your parents are cousins, uh, that is your second cousin. Then that then you can say only one belly for a female cousin and will belly for a for a male person that is your cousin. But if you wanna, what did you say, Ristan? That when you wanna describe exactly. Yeah, if you need to describe exactly the status, then, then you use yeah, then you put no bin. Then you say no bin, no and bin. no bin means second. The second. So it's the same. A cultural question. I noticed that several people start to smile when the discussion of yoikin comes up. I would like to understand more about this phenomenon. I've seen it happen in several classes. Okay. Um, well, I would say that yoiking is a very uh, culturally uh, positive thing. People want want to know how to yoik, uh, but you are a little bit afraid of uh, like doing it because it has. I don't know, but I would say that one of the like reasons if if somebody say yoiking then then people want to show that they are humble and they, 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 they don't know. But I don't know, Riston didn't maybe smile or so. so I'm, I don't know in what situation you have seen that, but I'm sure that Riston would, would make a yoik without smiling. Or what do you say, Riston? Can you see this problem in a way? I don't know what it, what it is about, but for me, yoiking or luhti uh, is uh, actually kind of identity marking a name another kind of, an, another way of using the name or giving a kind of honor to a person and it's, it's also if you're in good mood then it's often mm -hmm. the is just coming like that <laughs> yeah if i may add the history of yoiking is so complicated and it takes time to to really understand it all you know Mm. And it's very personal, it has to do with religion, people's backgrounds, everything. So it's very, it's very, very good as Tristan put it here. That's how we should think about it. Yeah. It's also a very sensitive thing for yeah. a lot of yeah. people because of, especially because of the religion uh, part of the discussion about the yoik. So that's a cultural lesson. Yes. History as well. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then we have a question that is not a cultural question, but a grammar question here. A three syllable noun question. Peana in Sive goes back down to two syllables, but easy than Alit do not. Yeah. What's going on? Well, it's. Uh, it's because when you put when you want to put an n i think i'm still sharing this one yeah when you want to put an n to the end of a word if you have the word alit ending with a consonant and and you want to put an n to it an n after that you cannot just put it like that and you cannot take away the t because the the age actually so 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 you need to to put an extra you, you you need to put an extra vowel before the n so it becomes three syllables here but when you 
when you ended out with a with a vowel in the nominative form and you want to put an n after the this then you don't need to put that extra vowel also so it's just muhtan so so it's it's depending on what form you have in the nominative singular what the essive form will be so here when we had it ending with the consonant it gets one extra syllable so these these are kind of tricky yeah i i i i see that and it's uh, but you you have you will have to try to if you look at peana in the dictionary you will see something like uh, you will see an explanation you will not just see peana dog but you will see like peana and then it will say um, T N and G or something like that to show that, or even it maybe it will say Peatnag, uh, and then you, you on basis of that you will have a chance to to find the second form, and then you will under you will learn after a while what form you use. You use this form yeah. for the nominative singular and for the essive, but the other form for the other. It's good to read here that every lesson it seems a little bit clearer. I also think it's it's difficult, but it after a while you start to get used to some things and it becomes easier. So time is already seven. Yeah, I don't know how we can thank Risten even clearer. Everybody writes here, thank you, Risten. I, I'm I'm really happy for that. So me too. Uh, maybe we, we can ask Kristen to join us uh, once again sometime. We will see if she now. If she is someone, yeah. Come. Um, but um, thank you for today and have a good Tuesday afternoon or night or morning. Uh, Me too. Yeah. Thank you and uh, see you next week. I will stop sharing here. Kito. Joo, Ele Tärvän lässä. Ele Tärvän. Ele Tärvän. Kiitos, Mana Tärvän.